<sighs> wow, this looks way too short. Mm. <laughs> now I'm close enough, but I'm still too short. How about there? Ugh, first world problems. What is up guys? This is Rocks News, the place where you can find all your crazy, awesome, and exciting news at one place. Today we have three new articles to share with you today, so let's get started in flying news. Meet the man who flies the world for free. There is a man by the name of Ben Schlappig. I think that's his name, Ben Schlappig. Well, Ben Schlappig. Schlappig. I'm going to say it that way because it sounds better. Ben Schlappig is a man who flies the world on a daily basis for free. His goal is basically to spend as much of his time as possible flying all over the world without paying a cent. The way he does this is um, through credit cards and other means to rack up points in order to actually fly planes for free all over the globe, which is pretty sweet. Um, now, this doesn't necessarily mean he's doing everything for free, but anything that he pays for on his credit card or um, other little rewards, points, and things like that that you can gain, he puts all of that into a travel fund, so now he can, he flies the world almost all the time, so he gets to travel all the time, and it's awesome. So I think that's a great idea. This guy's a brilliant guy, and I, I congratulate you, sir. You do something very intelligent. Uh, you take... Um, what most people would consider to be, you know, just like a, a normal bonus that some people might just get from their job or whatever, and you took it and just expanded on it. Um, so that's awesome. And, um, yeah, I'm very proud of you. Nice job. You're almost a businessman, but you do everything, you do everything for yourself. So, nice job, I guess. Next up, in really creepy doctor news. A medical student was caught taking a selfie in the delivering, delivery room while a woman was actually having a baby. Um, so this is a really weird story um, that I, I saw an article about. Um, and you know, so apparently this medical student, um, he was, I don't know, he's being criticized by people across the nation, which by the way, perfectly justified in criticizing this guy because this is really not cool. He posted a disturbing photo of himself holding the camera up while there was a pregnant woman giving birth behind him. That's not cool. That's my comment. There you go. It's not cool. You don't... You, what, what is wrong with you? You don't... That Like, you have to think ahead. Does this person want you taking this selfie? No. That's number one. Number two, um, what do you plan to do with this selfie? Well, apparently you posted it all, all over the internet, so uh, congratulations, nice job. And um, number three, this is just messed up. Dude, why? Mm. This photo was posted on Instagram uh, of this guy t with the woman behind him. Um, and honestly, if you're going to have somebody that's this immature working in your place of work, you really don't want them around. I mean, this is an immature act, and th it's absolutely unjustified, and it's completely justified that people are criticizing him for this because um, this woman most likely wanted her privacy, and why would you want a picture of yourself taken during that kind of an ordeal? And at the same time, also, what right do you have to take a picture of someone else who's going through this. Dude, you have a messed up mind. You did something messed up. You deserve all of the criticism that you're getting on the internet. You're welcome. Yeah, that's pretty much all I got for that because this guy is just not cool. That's messed up. You have a dirty mind. And finally, in police custody news. Um, now this was news a while ago um, that you probably heard. You may not have, but most people have. Um, you may have heard of Sandra Bland, the woman who was found dead in her cell that was supposedly 
uh, a suicide after a very strange series of events that went on uh, during uh, her arrest. Now, if you don't know the official story, at least what I have learned through articles that I have read, basically what ended up happening was a police officer pulled over this woman, uh, who is African American by the way, just to make that clarification, not not to point out any specific um, ethnicity in this or, or any way, but just to make sure that you know, because if, again, if it was an Asian guy or a white guy or a woman from it uh, it Italia, from Italy or a woman from Spain or something, I would still say this just to make sure that, you know, it's clarified. This woman, basically, she was pulled over and when she asked why she was being pulled over, first of all, the police officer asked her to put out her cigarette, which he has no right to tell her to do because she's in her property and she's, it's not a violation of any sort. Afterwards, he said that her light had been out, but she refused to get out of the car, so um, he also went uh, against his own jurisdiction again, opened the door and pulled her out of the car physically, um, and took her into custody. And so this was a very controversial series of events, and then she was found dead in police custody, uh, I think three days later, something like that, that was considered to be a suicide. Um, I think this is crazy, and a lot of people are saying, oh man, black America is under attack. Well, I mean, this is, this is treading on thin ice. Yeah, this was just, this was actually considered to be a routine police stop, because it happens a lot. I mean, police officers, you know, um, different counties and things need money, right? For example, if you're going like five or ten miles per hour over the speed limit, well, they might need to, because they, they have to hit a certain quota. So if they don't hit a certain quota, then they are desperate for money. So these people, you know, they have to pull over a certain amount of people. So this person was pulled over, but this does not mean that you need to, re need to result in someone dying. And whether it was a suicide or a homicide, um, it did not need to result, result in a death. Do I believe that this is evidence that black America is under attack? No, I don't. There are always, you know, there's always been racist people out there and things like that, um, but I don't believe that this is, again, this is not a reflection on police officers as a whole, but it is a reflection on the individual of officer and their own personal actions and their lack of responsibility or their racial preference or whatever that they have in their heads or whatever. But this is not a reflection on police officers as a whole. Um, so I don't believe that this should be considered an attack on African Americans, but more like an attack on this individual woman by this individual man. So, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Thank you for checking out this episode of Rock's News. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Or if you didn't like it, please leave a dislike, because I'm happy to understand what your, you know, thoughts and views are about what I am saying here. So thank you for doing one of those two things. Subscribe if you want to check out some more videos. Comment below if you have any articles for me to check out. And if you did notice that my room has changed up a little bit, we're actually changing everything up. Don't be freaked out because of those boxes over there. We're not moving. But I will be repainting my room and doing a lot of stuff to it, so it's not going to look like this in about a month. So, yet, yeah, don't be all freaked out or anything. We also may be moving the camera positions and stuff for these uh, episodes that I'm doing, either for regular vlogs, which usually take place at my desk, or here for our Rocks News. We may be doing them for other perspectives, so don't be confused by that. And I will see you guys in the next one! Dang, okay. Ha ha ha!